Um, my name is Nora Volkov, and I direct the National Institute on Drug Abuse. And uh, today I had a presentation of how the findings uh, from science had helped us understand better the problem of addiction and how that in turn guides us interventions that can be beneficial for those afflicted by addictive disorders. We now know, for example, that uh, the treatment of addiction requires a multi-pronged approach that is going to be intended to strengthening uh, areas of the brain, circuits that have been impaired by the use of drugs. Particularly important is the erosion that happens in the prefrontal cortex on people that are addicted to drugs that makes it much harder for them to exert uh, control over their desires or emotions and makes them very vulnerable for relapse. So therapeutic interventions that can strengthen uh, prefrontal activity, executive function, are likely to be beneficial. We also come to realize that the sensitivity of the person that is addicted to rewards actually is uh, profoundly attenuated. So in the psychotherapeutic process, uh, needs to engage individuals into other types of behaviors that are starting to become salient again so that there is a competition vis-a-vis -vis the drive of what motivates a, a person that is not just the drug. And finally, another aspect of the psychotherapeutic intervention is how do we extinguish conditioned responses? Because those are very important in driving the relapse rate of patients that are addicted to drugs. Now, from the perspective of the science on development medications, we're aiming to try to be able to do two things. Are there medications, for example, that can accelerate the psychotherapeutic process? For example, can you improve executive function? Is there a medication that you could use to improve executive function so that the, when the person is engaged on the cognitive therapeutic session, they are much more able to benefit from it? And there are medications that are currently being tested for this purpose. For example, the stimul classical stimulant medications, uh, methylphenidate, amphetamine, uh, modafinil also is being evaluated. The other uh, area that we're encouraging researchers to look into is what are the outcomes when you start to combine medications. And for example, in the case of nicotine addiction, the studies have shown much better outcomes when you combine two medications, bupropion and varenicline, that one you can give each medication in isolation. So these, these are uh, clinical trials that are ongoing. And at the same time, more into the future, we have been um, promoting research on the development of vaccines that can interfere with the uh, absorption of the drug into the brain. So we have researchers working on a cocaine vaccine, on a heroin vaccine, on a methamphetamine vaccine, and on a nicotine vaccine. And, and these approaches are, are very, very promising in animal models. And the big challenge that we currently have is that they need to be, that, that they increase the number of individuals that respond to them because they are not sufficiently antigenic. So these are some of the exciting areas of science in the whole field of drug addiction.